Previously on It's Showtime! No, 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 no! That that would be completely counterproductive, yeah! I just I just need to I just need to calm the, calm down, yeah? And try to figure out how to control these powers in the first place, yeah! Just just give me an idea. Actually, yeah, that gives me an idea. I slowly, shakily hold a hand out. Like I saw Hikaru do before he he I inhale. No. Control. I need to be calm or else. No. Just, just focus on what you're trying to do, girl. You got this, girl. You got this. I hold my hands out. And after a few moments, realize I have absolutely no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I'll just have to do my best to figure it out while I'm there. Yeah. Show! Shadow! Bruh! Dude, thanks man! I really needed that, bruh! But, uh, I guess we should go back to the lecture, yeah, before someone finds out, yeah? Anyway! Can you guys, uh, maybe not do that kind of stuff right now? I mean, damn. And pay attention to the lecture? Shinji's about to do something super cool. S sorry, yeah! Sorry, yeah! Yeah, super cool, what? We quickly drop each other's hands and... I turn my attention back down towards Shinji. Hmm. So it's okay if I, uh, do a combat demonstration then. Of course. We'll be doing combat later here too. Just, uh, don't get carried away. Perish the thought, Professor K, yeah. I never do anything dangerous to my buddy Tetsu. Shinji raises both his hands in front of the torso as if he were holding something that we couldn't see. I hear a different sort of crackling this time, and the air around Shinji's hands starts to shimmer and distort. I swear, Shinji, if you... Don't move, bruh! Suddenly, I see white flashes of something leap between Shinji's hands. Almost at the same time as I realize what I'm seeing, he pushes out both hands towards Tatsuya's ice-covered arm. The electricity arc from his hand to the ice! What? Almost immediately, the ice begins to melt and turn into a white mist. Everyone in the classroom seems to gasp at once. Huh? Hikaru even seems a little surprised, but he turns to face the class with an awkward smile. Uh, 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 okay, um, so that was one way of, uh, disabling an opponent using ice. If you happen to be lucky enough to be on, uh, electrokinetic, yes? I think that was a nice conclusion to our lecture, so we're done for today. I'm only snapped out of my days by show putting a hand on my shoulder. Say what? Come on! I'll walk you home, man! Hey, uh, what about me? Can I come? Sho looks at me questioningly and I nod and grab my bag. It's not far and I'm feeling fine, but you know what guys, yeah sure I'll go, yeah come with me guys, yeah. Tatsuya and Shinji almost immediately starts to argue, but then they both leave the class together before we can catch up to them. In the hallway, all I hear are people talking about how cool the demonstrations were. Kumi besides me literally hasn't stopped talking since I told him he could or he could come and is excitedly bouncing along. Did you guys see that? I didn't even know Shinji could do that. It was so inventive too. I I wouldn't have never thought to do that. Man, I wish I'd paid better attention in physics. I don't think physics physics has to uh what anyway, I glance over a show. Who has been quiet since the class ended? What's up, Sho? What's, what's wrong, buddy? What? I wanted to ask Sho what's wrong, but it's kind of hard to have a serious conversation with Takumi skipping right between us. Damn, Takumi! I think if I look hard enough, I can see actual stars in Takumi's eyes. Brad, just come the fuck down, down. Oh, damn it. But Tatsuya might come home in a bad mood because of that. But still, it was so cool. I wish I could do awesome stuff like you guys can. Ah, uh, I want to have magic powers. Uh. Yeah, 
They're pretty great when you're good with them. Yeah. Sho mumbles this under his breath while Takumi continues talking. But I heard him. Yeah, I heard him. Um, I'm, go I'm gonna go see if I can catch up with Shinji and Tatsuya so I can ask them more. Come on, Toniko. Wait, what? What about Sho? Before I can say anything, I drag or I'm dragged off by Takumi with Sho running to keep up to us. Okay, good job, Sho, good job. Shinji has brought us to a little park just outside of the campus. We managed to catch up with them, but Takumi had so many questions that we decided to hang out a little longer. I figured I should hear the answers anyway, so I didn't mind. After a quick trip to the restroom, I'm now sitting on a bench with Sho while Takumi shoots rapid fire questions. So, Shinji, are you a, 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 like a lightning mage or what? I can't handle all of the elements to uh, varying degrees, bruh! Wow, that's amazing! So you're probably the most powerful one here, right? I glance over at Sho, who's sitting next to me. I don't know him well enough to say he's not acting like himself, but I feel like he's been unusually quiet. Yeah, right. You wanna see power? Then let's have a proper demonstration. Ice versus ice. No thanks, bruh. I mean, I'm not stupid. He turns to Takumi, ignoring Tatsuya's smug grin. It's true that most people only can utilize one element, but being able to use more than a uh, one doesn't mean much when it comes to raw power. In fact, nine times out of ten, if they're using the same element, a specialist will beat someone who can use more than one. You catching this, Toniko? I snap out of staring at Cho. Uh, what? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, y yeah, yeah. It, it makes sense, I guess. Yeah. I, I mean, after all, mastery of a subject usually takes intense focus and years. Yeah. I trailed off, and my eye drifts to Cho. Any years of practice? Yeah, you got it. I noticed that Tatsuya and Shinji have became strangely silent. I glance at Takumi. Surprised, he stopped talking for more than a moment. Okay, uh... Clearly there's something no one is talking about here, uh, And it has to do with Shou's power. Unable to bear this stretching silence much longer, I reach for my bag to distract myself with my phone. But it's not there. What? Where's my- What? I looked down under the bench from left to right. Didn't I bring it? I know I had it when I left class. The guys immediately pick up on my distress. Uh, what's up, Toniko? Are you looking for something? I nodded and get up from the bench, looking all around it as I speak. I'm just looking for my bag, guys, you know? Have you guys seen it? Yeah. I'm absolutely sure I brought it with me from Professor... Kazuma's class. I remember you having it too because you checked your phone as soon as we walked outside. I have to admit that I thought Takumi was far too busy talking to pay attention to anything. I make a mental note to revise my growing assumption that he was kind of an airhead, yeah. But you probably put it down for a moment, didn't you? When you used the restroom? Oh, that's ya! Maybe for like one minute when I... Oh! Oh! Bruh! I'll be right back, guys! I immediately dash up to the park's restroom. As soon as I get in the spot my bag... What? I get in... I spot my bag in a spot I would have never left it. Sink! I cautiously look around the bathroom before walking up to the sink and grabbing it. When I walk back outside... Show is way near the bathroom entrance for me. What? Oh, uh... Good, you found it! Losing your stuff would have been a pain for sure. Takumi and the other walks up to us. Have you checked the bag? Huh? Uh, uh, no, uh, but th that's, all, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, let me check. I ramage through the bag, checking that my laptop, uh -huh, my notebook, and my wallet are inside. Damn, you left your lap laptop in your wallet, girl? Ah. Everything appears to be there, but... Everything's being all mixed up. What? 
Even though nothing's missing, someone's definitely gone through my bag. What? But, uh, why would someone go through your things, man? Do you have any enemies, Tony Cow? What? No! No! Why would I? Yeah. But when I think through the reasons I could be targeted, only one comes to mind. I am the daughter of a Shinamura Industry CEO, Toniko Shinamura. Even though my last name is honorific, but still, I don't pretend to know everything my father does, but he's bound to have some people who would want to use me to get at him. Yeah. I can't tell these guys that though. Nor can I get them involved in anything dangerous because of who I am. Toniko? Are you absolutely sure? Anything could help. This whole thing might be nothing but- No, no, no! I, I mean, I can't think of any reason why anyone would target me, so don't worry guys, yeah! Honestly, it could have been a thief that got scared off by someone coming in or something, yeah! Yeah, uh, that's probably it! There's no need to scare Toniko with your theories, Takubi! Okam's razor, huh? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. In plainer words, uh, the most simple solution is the most likely, Briss. There's probably nothing to worry about, Toniko! Takumi doesn't look convinced in the least, and I turn around so I don't have to face him. Show peeks around at me, though. His face right in from my mind. Come on! Why don't I walk you home, huh? Yeah! Alright, uh, thanks, Show. Yeah. We'll see you later, guys! We wave goodbye and go our separate ways, though Takumi's enthusiasm was noticeably curbed. I glance at Show besides me and wonder if he somehow sensed how uncomfortable I was. He did get me out of they're pretty quick. Could he know I'm hiding something? Oh god. But Sho looks at me with a smile so bright that I reflexively smile back. He seems content to walk in silence too. That's right. Sho's hiding something too. I guess even people like him have their demons in now. <gasps> Chapter 3! It's up! Wait, can I continue? Should I continue? Uh, yeah, I'll continue a little bit. Another day. Another class. It's been a week since that day in the park. I haven't really had a chance to talk with Sho at length, aside from sending the occasional silly text to each other. But the more I think about it, the more I wonder why he was in the newbie practical magic class. At first I thought he was just sitting in with Takumi or there to watch the demonstration, but after seeing how he reacted afterwards, could it be that something's wrong with him? But then why would Professor Kazuma let me choose him out of everyone else to help me? I just, it just didn't make any sense. Well, he did explain about he being a phoenix and fire doesn't, you know, affect him and such, so yeah. Anyway, I felt like I was missing something big piece of a puzzle, and clearly it wasn't something Sho wanted to talk about. I make my way into the control and focus classroom for the second time. There's only a few students inside. Most of them are in little groups, happily chatting away as they wait for the professor to show up. I look around for a place to sit and my eye fall onto a familiar face. She was sitting there alone, oh my god, practically at the other end of the classroom, far away from everyone else. He's reading something on his phone with his back almost turned from the door so he hasn't seen me either enter yet yeah he was he wasn't here last week what changed and why is he all the way in the corner Cho definitely isn't the shy type so it doesn't make much sense to me I'm torn between going to greet him and sitting somewhere else what if he wants to be alone as it, as I finally move to find a seat Cho looks up T Tony Ko? For a moment, Sho seems lost at seeing me here. Then, like a switch, he suddenly grins at me, waving me over like a madman. Hey, Toniko! Sit next to me! His enthusiasm is catchy, yeah! I offer no objection and sit in the seat beside him. I want to ask him many questions, but 
the classroom door opens with a bang. The professor stride in. His messy brown hair practically bounces as he moves. I hear some of the girls next to me start to whisper, and I gather that Professor Arden, uh, Arden or Arden, is quite popular around campus. I decide to shove my question to the back of my mind and pull my laptop out. I finally just, you know, ask show about it later. I put all my focus to the lesson ahead. Right, two kiddos. Time to learn! Today, we'll be talking about uh, how to focus your magic so you don't accidentally pull some up and I'll say yeah! The professor says with a laugh, but I notice Show fidget in his seat. Despite the professor's light tone, Sho seems distraught. Professor Erden grins at his class. Right, so let's get started! Professor launches into a lecture on focusing the auras, and all chatter immediately ceases. Completely captivated, everyone hangs on his every word, and yet I keep staring at Shell. All of his attention seems to be focused solely on Professor Erden. I've never seen him focus so hard before. Inspired by Shell, I turn back to the lecture, determined to learn as much as I can too. The evening breeze blows through my hair, tossing loose strands astray. After a full afternoon of classes together, Show is walking me home again. He's so quiet today. It's starting to weird me out, bro. I cast a sideways glance at him. Show has barely spoken a word since we left the cl- last classroom together. Only a quick, "I'll walk you home." I think he knows what I want to ask. But Sho looks like he needs some time to think, so I just, so yeah, I guess I'll just walk quietly by his side, waiting until he's ready to talk. So yeah, let's let's walk slow. Yeah, let's walk slow. Yeah. Soon Sho turns to me with a bittersweet smile. But you're wondering what I've been doing in a remedial classes, especially ones like control and focus. I am a little curious. Yes, Sho. Yeah. Would you, would you like to talk, Show? Yeah. Show pauses. For a moment, he looks unsure of how to begin. You picked me to help you, so uh, you should know. When I was little, I was really good at magic. Creating fire was uh, as natural as breathing for me. I was praised all the time, you know. They call me a genius, but I started getting cocky and. I don't know what happened, but as I got older, I started having problems getting my powers to work. And then something happened, and I lost control completely. Can't even light a damn candle anymore. Either nothing happens, or I blow something up. I'm so. He sighs. I sign up for those classes so I can try and. Learn how to control my powers, so I don't have to feel so helpless, you know. Show, bruh. I figured it might have been something like that, but now that I know the truth, it's much worse than what I had imagined. To actually have have had the power, to still have it, but not be able to use it while your friends around you do amazing things and all. Maybe this is a、uh, presumptuous. Yeah, since I've only had these powers for a few weeks, so.、Uh, yeah. But、uh, I, I feel the same, you know, Show. Yeah, I, I don't want to feel so helpless anymore, too. You know, I, I don't want to be afraid of myself or accidentally blowing up something up, or worse, someone. I don't know what I'd do if I killed someone. So maybe. If you don't mind, we could, you know, practice together sometime. Seriously, you do that for me? Of course, yeah. But what? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Yeah, and you'd be helping me too. Heh. <laughs> Sorry, it's just no one's really taking the time to actually ask me to study together in years. 
course. We can practice together. I might not know how to control my powers, but I do know a lot about the theory of it. So I can finally help you out too. So, uh, are you free now? Do you want to come over? I don't live far. Uh, 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 um, I'm free, but, uh, uh, like, like now, now, uh, I can't figure out how to say it without sounding fucking rude, uh, uh, could I just go to this place like that? I mean, isn't that kind of a sudden? Isn't it too soon? Uh, the show seems to understand, even without me outright saying it. Oh, uh, don't worry. Remember Shinji? Super tall guy with pooper hair? He's my roommate, so he'll be there too. I, I can't help but feel a little awkward, yeah. Uh, he, he knew. I, I hope he doesn't think I don't trust him or anything, or have weird thoughts about what's gonna happen between us together. Yeah, uh, uh, but, well, I, I can probably make a run for it if anything happens, yeah. Or just get in motion and blow shit up, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, let's go. With that decision, may we make a slight adjustment to our destination. Ooh, it doesn't look like Sho lives all that far away from me. Dude, I swear I seen this somewhere in Japan. Where was it? I don't think it's Akiba though. God damn, I feel like I've seen it. Where was Anyway, yeah. I feel a little nervous as we move along in silence. Hey, uh, do you want to stop by the convenience store on the way? We could get some snacks. Oh, sure. Ah, good idea. We make our way to the nearest convenience store. 11 11! When we reach the shop, show stops in front of the door. He turns back to look at me. Wait here, uh, I'll run in real fast. But out in a second, right? He runs into the shop and I moved away from the door. I settle in to wait, but after a few minutes, I start to get an odd feeling and look around. It's then I notice a girl standing on the other side of the road. The setting sun reflects off of something. A vivid blue color near her hair. Say what? I squint and see that she's wearing blue rose-shaped earrings. They're so cute! I wonder where she got them. It's probably rude to just go ask her though. That's when I realize she seems to be looking at me. Sho walks out just then and I turn around to face him. I see that he has a couple of bags in each hand. Sorry for the wait, uh, I went kind of... You know, crazy with the shopping, yeah! No, no problem, Joe! I take two bags from him and move to leave. Hmm? Something's wrong? No, it's nothing. I look around while we walk, but I don't see the girl at all. It's like she's completely vanished. Oh well, we finally arrive at Joe's apartment building when, we, when he starts checking his pockets. Um, is something wrong, Sho? Uh, no, maybe? I might not have the keys. Son of a... I, sorry, bro. Uh, what? I'm a little annoyed, but uh, I can't tell Sho is more upset than I am. Ah, it's true I'm not practically impressed with his lack of responsibility right now, but it's kind of, kind of cute. I, I get, yeah. Oh, uh, but I think Shinji is home tonight. So, uh, we're in luck. Sho leans forward and knocks on the door. After waiting outside the door for a few moments, Shinji opens it. Sho, bruh, I swear. One of these days, we've got to super glue the goddamn keys to your goddamn hand so you stop losing it all the damn time. Hey, I seriously thought I had them today, all right? Shinji seems to realize I'm standing there for the first time and his eyes shift to me. Hey, Tonyko! How are you, girl? Hi, Shinji. Uh, I'm fine, yeah. Um, uh, can I... I, I yeah, I came to practice with Sho. I, I mean, uh, we're, we're going to study magic together, I'm saying, and practice, yeah. Uh, but I'm making an idiot out of myself. This is just so weird. One of the few things I do remember my Mo, she's got telling me. 
Oh, my mom, she's got me telling me is that I needed to be careful of men from a young age. Why? I can't practically hear her voice now. If a boy tries anything on you that you don't like and doesn't take no for an answer, then kick him where it hurts and run like his nuts, okay? The nuts! The nuts! Unexpectedly, I find a smile threatening to form, but I manage to keep a straight face and refocus on Shinji. He is looking at me in what appears to be amazement. Oh, uh, okay, uh, wait, really? It is really that surprising? I mean, God. Well, uh, honestly, yeah, but that's great. Just let me know if you guys need any help, right? Shinji goes over to the couch and picks up his black acoustic guitar. I'll be in my room if you need me, yeah. And, uh, try not to have too much fun, right, guys and girls? I, I, I need to focus on my, on my jam, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And don't break the bed or anything, man, or make squeaky squeaky noise, I got Gigi, what the hell, man, damn! Well, uh, you're going to practice, aren't you? Well, uh, magic, that is. Hopefully magic. W w would you just get out of here already, damn? Shinji chuckles as he walks into his bedroom and shuts the door. Show turns back to me and I can't bring myself to look at him. Uh, Maybe it was a bad idea coming here, I mean, uh... Sorry about that. Shinji's a really nice guy, but, uh, even he can be kind of an ass sometimes. Let's go, my room's through there. Show points at the hallway behind me and moves past me to lead me in. I slowly following him, my heart beating a little faster, uh-huh. I can't stop my mouth from falling open. Um. Wait, how do you hide this? Hold on. Uh, I guess I'll figure it out later. Anyway, you got a nice room, buddy, yeah. Yeah! The bed looks uh, clean, too, yeah, okay. Alright, that's a plus, that's a plus, yeah. And yeah! You, got, you like birds, huh? Uh, anyway, how on earth did they afford this? What, the, the beds? Or anyway. I hadn't really had time to think about it, but the living room was really nice too. Oh yeah, that's true. Still, this was beyond extravagant compared to my small apartment. I look around the room, surprised how tidy it is. As I should have expected, there are birds pictures everywhere. Oh, Phoenix, duh, okay. Overall, the room seems warm and w welcoming. A perfect fit for show. Show is at his desk. Looking through the books on his shelf. He seems to so focused that I don't want to disturb him. I put my bag on the foot of his bed and walk to a large window. Yeah. It's gorgeous. There's a lovely view of the nearby apartment and lush green area around us. I can't even see what must be hundreds of stars. I can't even see, I mean. A mind view? Show soft voice asks me behind me. I look at him as he comes to stand next to me. Yeah, I was just surprised that I could see so many stars, you know? Well, uh, it's because we're pretty close to the campus. There is a weather spell around the campus that helps keep the skies clear of light pollution and clouds. It goes out for a few kilometers or so from the radius of the campus in every direction. It's pretty cool, right? But, if you want to know more, uh, Shinji would know better than me. Sho says this all so casually, but I'm in complete disbelief. Really? I mean, wow. I wish that really happened in Japan, yeah. Your world is so different. Everyone's so powerful. I feel really... insignificant. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, it's your world too now, and don't forget that I'm right here with you. I can't do anything remotely that's skilled. Yeah, but we're going to learn, right? I hold my hands out a little awkwardly to affirm my words and show gives it a squeeze. Yep, 
We'll be partners from now on. Yeah, so let's get studying. I move over to Sho's desk and take a look at all the books he pulled out. They're all on entry level magic. I pick them up and notice that they're still in a shrink wrap. The words on the binding suggested they're for elementary school students. Uh, how long have you had these? Uh, not since elementary school, if that's what you're thinking. Uh, I brought them last week. After seeing Shinji and Tatsu demonstration? Yeah, I uh, saw the way you uh, you look. You look, guys. You guys looked at them, so yeah, yeah. And I, I thought that maybe I could do that too, you know? Yeah. No, no I, I, I'm sure I can. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> then let's get started, bruh. You gotta be embarrassed about it. You got this, bruh. I'm with you. Tony goes with you. Let's get this started. Alright, let's go.